welcome back to my channel edc english literature today i am going to tell you a story yeah a story of my friend who is now my colleague and he is an english teacher now what he said uh, has um, struck me um, and that point i like to share that how he is a successful teacher even though he read less very less of the contents that covers his syllabus but he has read plenty of texts uh, after he secured his job or he, what he read was beyond his syllabus whatever he got he read but regarding he, the syllabus what he covers in his literature uh, that as he was a friend of me and we were studying in the same college he was studying uh, the english literature i am following i am reading so many books uh, i bought all the texts i uh, took all the notes and thereby uh, i go through line by line of the a of the every if i tried every bit of uh the text i can get uh, to understand a bit to venture a bit but from the very first day till he secured his job he said me one thing that i will not burden myself with lot of lot of learning lot of exacting myself with the knowledge with the vastness those things he took the books that he liked most and he readily read them vigorously but when it comes to the syllabus he is never reading it that's the uh, very problematic theory so um, at the time when we uh, started reading in the first year we had a bacon francis bacon text of studies a particular line he said many a times uh, uh when i said hey why are you not reading the novel instead of that novel you are following the same author and reading the other novel why why are you so he replied me that line what he says i am just putting off studies thereby uh, you can uh, you can uh, have it uh, written by Uh, Francis Bacon, the famous um, the father of English essays, which we popularly know him, uh, the pragmatic writer um, who uh, reads and uh, um, uh, expresses ideas regarding the utility of studies rather than fanciful thinking or wasting times. Um, so his pragmatic ideology. Uh, is quite arresting one to my friends and it might struck many of us what he says is that there is some books are to be read only in parts others to be read but not curiously and some few to be read wholly and with diligence and attention some books also may be read by deputy and extracts made by them by others so all the books are not important so what is important what is not important it depends upon you if something is interesting for you you can take it and you can get the full volume of the book page by page and if you don't like some things don't but even even it is important for you for your studies then take it summarize it follow the other gist manners or summary manners somehow to get um, the wholeness of that book so that you can just uh, pass over the exam now uh, he is a successful teacher my friend whom i refer to but one thing must be remembered that he says that reading is a very 
pragmatic way of learning. What Bacon says is the very same. The reading has its pragmatic way. Even if we start reading, start studying something, that study or reading must have a purpose. Otherwise, reading is fruitless. As far as the ultimate goal of you, if you don't set your objective correct, even if you don't set your objective correct and make your focus towards that particular goal, then uh, pushing, uh, then pushing hither and thither without any purpose will lead you nowhere. So, up studies, the particular essay, not only struck me as a uh, reader, but it also struck many of my friends and you as readers. But before we go to the whole of the text, I like to welcome you into my channel. It is English literature. One second. I am going to tell you Francis Bacon's of studies, uh, not as a whole. I will uh, give you the idea what Francis Bacon has uh, shared to us and what sort, what sort of studies he has mentioned in his um, essay. Uh, the pragmatic essay creeps uh, very hard and very uh, minutely chosen phrases uh, are the very styles of Baconian writing, uh, the brevity, uh, the crispness and, and the very compactness of his style. Uh, is a very interesting one that you will start you will uh, know by the name of Baconian style now coming uh, to few of the points I just like to highlight the very first line it says studies serve for delight for ornament and for ability it simply says it simply says studies are for the delightful uh, delightful spirit of us in fact, if we study without uh, the without the ultimate goal of being joyous, then the purpose of the study are wasted. Next is an ornament. What it makes ornament? Ornament beautifies somebody or something. So ornament ornamentation is the key of our socialization. So studies are very important for being a social being for ornamentation. And for ability, you be, you becomes an able person. It becomes an um, creative one, creatively able one. It enables you for your skill. So studies makes three um, basic pragmatic purposes. It makes you happy. Number one. Number two. It makes your ornamentation. That means it beautifies your skill. And number three, it make you enable of various uh, skills and observations and mm, your inner quality will be uh, exercised in beautiful manners if you study mm, according to Bacon. Now next two few points uh, that I am going to read or going to discuss is that some books are to be tested, some books are to be swallowed and few to be chewed and digested. That's very basic um, classification of studies. All the books are not uh, similar important, not same important, carry same importance. So Bacon has uh, given a clear cut idea that books should be classified or uh, books should be uh, divided into sections by your taste, by your need. What is, what it should be, how it should be classified? Books are to be few to be tested. We test something to all it really all it to say is it sour or sweet. Similar, few books are to be tested. Only few pages. Is it good or bad? Some books are to be uh, swallowed. That means you have to be um, uh, a, a spontaneous reader of something and you have to swallow it. The pills of medicine, you have to swallow it because it uh, make your uh, remedy. Similarly, you have to procure 
you have to procure a few of the studies in such a way which is very essential for you. If you don't study, the further way of your life would be hindered. Next comes another key point that is the digesting part and the chewing part. A few books are so vital and so important in your life, in your living that each and every page, every section of that words should be chewed, should be digested, to be understood every part and parcel of that topic that in your future way that studies lead you the further ways of your learning. It will smoothen your future way of awakening or learning. So this pragmatic guide is very much welcome uh, as far as we the person are concerned, we the social being are concerned. But uh, uh, the pragmatic way of thinking or the advice that Bacon has given uh, is a, a quite a ready with person, a, like that of a person who is pragmatic one who just, uh, just uh, is ready to hammer in your brain to make which is perfect, which is not perfect. So uh, you have to be cautious that each of the Bacon's advice to be taken seriously or not. Now coming to another line, um, reading makes the full man, conference ready man and writing an exact man. So studies does not make reading. It has accompanied by another two things that is conference and writing. So your reading, if you read if you read too much, you become a capable of fullness, fullness of your knowledge. But your fullness does not make that you are ready to deliver everything. You become ready to deliver your knowledge when you confer, when you talk a bit, when you discuss a bit. That discussion makes you ready. Now comes the third point, which we open time uh, avoid writing. Because writing makes you an exact one. What you have in you, what you can speak, must have the quality of express or the a quality of expression through writing. And that makes the exact man. Now the last but not the least. Another advice that I like to say, I like to quote that in our living style, in our present way of thinking, in uh, this society where so much of the, so many things, where uh, from uh, the internet, from uh, the textbook, uh, from various uh, as I am talking in as I am conversing with you in your platform YouTube so 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 many of the uh, communication so many of the print media and so many of your uh, communication skills online classes these are making you con in confusion what to take what not to take what to study what not to study which book to study which book not to study or oh, which should be preferred first which should be preferred last and how one book should be studied so this utility guide or Baconian advice of studies uh, might make a help in you and particularly I am giving this lecture through you uh, to make a point that not everything is same important as you think so importance may vary uh, from your liking and disliking as well as your desires your desires what you want to be in future now the last point that I like to quote uh, is that in 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 uh, in first of the few lines uh, he says that natural abilities are like natural plants they need pruning by study that socialistic point of view is very fair uh, in argument we uh, 
have the natural qualities that we often say we have the natural qualities but natural qualities are like natural plants it readily grow like that of a wild bush only those qualities should be trimmed or should be designed in a beautiful uh, garden like a gardener he just beautifies the natural plants into his garden and makes it a presentation of beauty of nature so nature is there but the presentation is uh, the way of presenting nature through a medium through a particular module uh, that is made possible by the garden so gardener uh, gardener gardener's garden is like that of a um, uh, like that of a, trim, a each and every person should be a gardener and he should make his abilities beautiful beautiful and how is it possible it is possible by studies it is possible by studies so you um, become a gardener in yourself uh, by the quality of your studies and beautify your natural abilities into perfection and make a successful man with that wish i say uh, goodbye for you uh, for your uh, further studies if you want to study of studies and back on other essays you can also refer to my blog www.ordhendude.blogspot.com okay bye